someone who's refusing to go away and there's someone who's really in breach of the court agreement because the concord agreement is about cps must be out of the space come end of september the social development minister is hitting back at efforts to sign up beneficiaries for easy pay and sasa grindrod cards easy pay is a net one product it also owns cash paymaster services or cps might be new uh, tendencies <clears throat> in trying to cause confusion but also in trying to claw back as we're supposed to move forward because the issues that where does this come from the easy pay uh, what do you call it easy pay easy way we know where it comes from uh, the issue of the green card we know where it comes from so if they continue to make sure that that card is being issued uh, or lure our members to get that card, we know where it comes from. So we have a responsibility in protecting our beneficiaries. Shabangu's also mopping up misinformation about cash pay points. Our beneficiaries must have access to their pay point within a five kilometer radius. So it will going to be impossible to close any pay point without recognizing that as the critical point to say they can access their money very close. And when we do that, one of the issues which we are considering is that is there a post office around that area? And linked to that, do we have an ATM or a bank within a five kilometer radius? She says the ongoing swap from the Sasa Grindrod to Sasa Post Office card has opened up space for dirty tricks. Dr. Zweli Mkize, the Minister of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, is aware of the risks. Uh, there's a lot of possible scams if people are not properly informed. The chairperson of the National House of Traditional Leaders says people must be careful of scams. There are people that are going out there in rural areas trying to entice traditional leaders uh, on this swapping process uh, where they would want traditional leaders to, to assist them in luring our people to be able to take some of the cards that are not known. So now we know exactly uh, that uh, people should not fall into cards that have not been uh, uh, stamped by the, by, by the department. The new Sasa post office card features the national coat of arms in the top right hand corner. Logos for Sasa and Visa appear in the top left and bottom right corners respectively. The new card, which is operated by Postbank, also features a microchip and raised numbers. Shabangu is hopeful the 20 or so traditional leaders she met with on Monday will help with a public information campaign. She says churches will also be joining the effort to separate the facts from fiction. For clarity, beneficiaries can call SASA on 0800 60 10 11 or visit their nearest SASA office or go to www.sasa.gov.za. Aaron Bates, Pretoria.